Hey guys, it's Melanie, one of the registered nurses here at Aesthetica Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center, and today we're going to be talking about laser hair removal, which is one of the most popular procedures that we have here. That's a treatment that a lot of different people have heard about already, and you may have already tried, but we have a little bit of a different philosophy about laser hair removal here that works for the masses. So you may have heard that there are different types of candidates for laser hair removal, that some people aren't a candidate for it, that some people are. That's relatively a myth, um, but there are people that are ideal for it, and then some people that just need to be treated a little bit more delicately. What's nice is that the machine that we have, you can actually treat all skin types and for all different hairs. As long as the hair has darker pigmentation than your skin, then laser hair removal is very effective. The science behind laser hair removal is actually that the light from the laser follows the pigmentation down the hair shaft and it deactivates the follicle. The follicle is the most important part with laser hair removal. So we want the hair to be perfectly shaved right to the level of your skin. When we zap it with a laser, it goes down the hair shaft, killing the follicle if it's in a certain cycle of growth. There's three different cycles of growth that all hair follicles go through. Anagen, telogen, and catagen. You don't need to remember this. But if it's in a certain cycle of growth when we hit it with the laser, that hair is going to die never to return. It's permanent hair reduction. If it's in the second cycle of growth, it's going to damage that follicle, so the hair that does grow back actually comes back a little bit finer and lighter. But if it's in the third stage of growth, nothing's going to happen which is why we ask you to do a, a series of treatments because your hairs need time to change over into that new cycle of growth before we zap them again. Oftentimes people find that laser hair removal, the growth that's happening while you're in the middle of your packages comes back patchy and that's normal. Certain clusters of hair are in certain cycles of growth. So it's not that we're missing an area that we're treating, it's just if those hairs aren't in the right cycle of growth, they're not gonna deactivate. It's important to have your treatments spread far enough apart to, to achieve that goal, that your hairs have changed over before we zap you again. So if you go to another laser center or other places that say, well, we'll do a, a treatment every week for six weeks and that'll get you done, they're fooling you. You have to give your hairs the time to change over. So it can be kind of an arduous process, but it's how you're gonna get the most effective treatments as well. There's also different levels of laser hair removal machines out there. Our laser is specialized for hair follicles. Um, it's called a light shear duet, and it has a modality also that speeds up your treatment. So we have kind of the coolest laser that th that's out there for laser hair removal. Some companies in some locations will use something like an IPL machine, something that does still target pigmentation, but it's really more meant for sun damage, and it's kind of just like a nice side effect that it reduces hair, but they use that as a laser hair removal modality. So you may find a Groupon out there, you may find different companies that are offering you know seven treatments for a hundred dollars you're not getting the quality machine that you're looking for so there are things that you can do at home to make your treatment the most effective that it can possibly be like I said in the beginning the most important thing is that that hair follicle is darker than your skin so avoiding self tanners don't use any bronzers or things like that on the treated area because you want your skin to be its most fair and the follicle to be as dark as it can be also no waxing plucking depilatory products like Nair, um, any other things that would rip that follicle out for about four weeks before we do the treatments. So oftentimes people will come in to have a little patch on their chin done. They say, well, I have three little hairs here. And we ask you not to tweeze for about four weeks just to shave the area. And by the time people come in for their treatment, it's actually like the size of a quarter. And it's a whole bunch of follicles that we can zap and we'll kill them all. But you want that follicle to be there in order for the laser to see it. If say you shave your legs and you can't see any hair follicles, you may want to wait about 48 hours hours and you want that hair to just barely be poking out of the surface. However, if that hair is growing out a little too far, when we hit it with a laser, it's just going to dissipate into this hair fall or into the hair shaft and it's not going to go down to the follicle. But if you shave and it's kind of under your skin, the, the laser is not going to be able to see it either. So finding that sweet spot is really important for your treatments. It's just a way that you can make your treatments the most effective they can be. Even if your hair and your skin is not drastically different, sometimes the laser will still be pretty effective. We just need to treat your skin a little bit more delicately. We can't treat somebody who is a fair Irish redhead with not a lot of brown pigmentation in their skin as somebody who might be Latino or African American. You need to be a little bit more delicate about how we're trying to, to affect their pigmentation. So we do have settings though that are safe for all skin types. Um, and even when you have somebody who's a little bit of a darker African American, the skin is still 
still a little bit lighter than the hair follicles normally. So as long as there's some variation, then the treatment's really effective. All right, so we're gonna start our demonstration on the laser hair removal system so you guys can see just how fast and efficient our system is comparatively to other systems. So to start off with, this is our machine. Um, and you can see that it does come with two hand pieces, which is why we call it the, um, the light shear duet, is because there's two different hand pieces we could choose to use. The predominant one that we use is this one, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, but this is traditional laser hair removal. If you've ever seen it from other places or if you've ever um, tried laser hair removal, you may know that it's a small spot size. It treats about a nine by nine millimeter spot at a time. Um, and most people say on a pain scale of one to 10, laser hair removal is somewhere between like a six or a seven. It's not the best feeling. Um, it feels kind of like a little hot poke with a needle. Um, the good news is with our hand pieces, this one here is called the HS. So it stands for high speed. And the reason being is because it covers a much larger surface area at a time. So we put a personalized tip in the end that is per patient, um, but we can treat a much larger spot size at a time and there's no direct skin contact. Um, so the actual pain scale on the same one to 10 comes down to about a four, which is far more reasonable for people that um, are treating a larger area like your legs um, or your back. Um, it goes by much, much faster. So on top of the speed being more comfortable, the actual treatment and the actual zaps are a little bit better as well. Okay, so we're gonna get started on Holland's underarm. So she listened very specifically to the directions of you want to have the hairs just barely poking out of the surface, which is perfect. Um, if you shave your underarm and there's no follicles at all, the laser's not gonna be able to target them so specifically, so this is perfect, okay? And you'll see with our HS handpiece having this larger um, spot size, it's gonna be about six zaps and she'll be done. This is it's pretty incredible. So we're gonna start up here a little bit higher, okay? And you're gonna feel a little bit of suction and a little zap, and that's it, okay? We're gonna come down a little bit further where there's a few more follicles. You may feel it a little bit more, okay? And then a few lower here, and you'll be done in just a second. That's gonna be the worst, good job. Two more. One, one more here, one, two, three. You did it, okay? So that treats the underarm area, and again, those hairs that are in the antigen stage of growth are not coming back. They are dead and gone. The ones in the telogen stage may come back a little bit thinner and finer, and the antigen stage, or the catagen stage, um, they'll still be there when we do our next. And it's normal when the hairs are zapped to have a little bit of a smell of burning hair, which will make the whole room smell like you're on fire, um, but that's really just at killing the, the hair follicles. So thanks for watching our video about laser hair removal. I hope this answered a lot of your questions. Of course, a consultation is the best place to start to decide whether or not you're a good candidate for it. If you like this video, you can click subscribe um, and click onto our other videos to learn more about the things that we have in our office. But I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye.